Hi, everybody. I hope everybody's well and you're shoveled out of the snow and um, I hope there's not more coming, but uh, I hope everybody was safe and was able to shovel themselves out and everybody's warm at home. So today uh, we're gonna do like a Valentine's craft and I'm sorry, but I only have this um, computer to work with and I don't know if you can see the craft, but there we go. I know you saw a picture of it because Catherine put it on online. There it is. It's a heart and it is made out of book pages and it's pretty simple. In your bag, um, I gave you a piece of cardboard and a piece of um, card stock. And I gave you 15 rolls of um, the book pages and tissue paper and some leaves. Now it's up to you if you wanna put the tissue paper on you can as a flower. If not, you could just leave it plain. I actually found a sticker um, that had a little saying on it and I was gonna put it down here and um, you can hang this, you know, just during Valentine's Day or all the time, whatever you would wanna do. I didn't give you pieces to hang it with uh, but all you have to do is take maybe a little piece of twine and put it on the back, center it, and you can hang it up that way. So we can get started. Now, I already cut out my heart and I gave you two hearts. I gave you a smaller one and a more wider one. So you can choose which one you uh, want to cut out and uh, paste on your cardstock. So I just did this to save some time. So once you have your uh, cardstock glued to the cardboard and your heart glued to the cardstock, you're going to take your book page rolls and you're going to measure from the middle to the side. And how I did it was I just placed it like this. I took a pencil and I just marked where I wanna cut it. Now it's better to start in the um, widest part because uh, you wanna wait, work your way to the smaller parts. I found it to be easier. Now, if you want to, you can actually um, do it this way uh, and paste, glue your book pages like that. Um, it's totally up to you. Um, again, it's your design. So um, you do what you would like. Now, um, it would work the same way. You know, you would measure it and then cut it. Um, but uh, I'm gonna, of course, do it this way. So here's my book page. I marked it with my pencil and you don't have to do this, but it makes it look nicer. If you cut on an angle to the way the heart is going, it just looks more, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, I can't think of the word, but it looks more um, uh, like it's in water or, you know, going the same way. So So I cut it like that and see, I'm going to glue it so that this angle is going the same way. It just, uh, to me, it looks nicer, but like I said, you do what you wanna do because this is your creation. So you're just gonna take some glue 
and you can either glue the roll or you can glue, um, I'm gonna put it right there, or you can glue where uh, you're gonna put it. And I like putting it on the paper. So, uh, and make sure that your seam is down because you don't, you don't wanna see the seam. And I would just hold it for like 10 seconds, count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you're just going to continue to do that. Save your the ones that you cut because those you can use on the smaller pages. So let's take another one. And let's see. We just keep lining it up like that. There's the angle that I want it on. So I'm just going to cut it and just add it like that. See if if you start one way and then you do this way, it, it just doesn't look right. Um, but uh, that's why I just said you should keep it going, you know, the angle the way it should be. So once you do your first one, it's just a matter of following the pattern. And if you want at the end, if you have a, um, like a knife, one of those uh, from Home Depot, you can cut if you have uneven edges, you could just cut it and make it even. But there is this. No, it's not long enough yet or short enough. So you're just going to keep going like that all the way around. Okay, if you're all done with the heart, putting the um, paper rolls on, which should be glued side by side down. I'm going to show you how to make the flower now. So with your bag, I gave you pieces of tissue paper like this. And what you're going to do is make sure they're even. And you're just going to fold them like you would if you were making a fan. So just Fold it over, turn it around to the other side, fold it over, turn it around to the other side, fold it over, turn it around, and same thing again until all your sides are folded like that, okay? And then you can take a stapler and you're gonna staple it. So right in the middle, like that, okay? And then I gave you a pipe cleaner. And if you want to, you can wrap the pipe cleaner like this, but I feel 
like it's more secure when you put this staple in. And again, what I did was I took this stapler and I put an X over the pipe cleaner. So let's see, put it there. And I put one that way. And I put a staple that way. So it's X'd on. And then I'm going to cut this to about there. And then all you do is you take your tissue paper, um, do one side at a time. Um, now, if you want a round flower, don't, um, I mean round edges, don't cut it. I think this is really pretty when you take and cut it into a um, triangle at the edges, like so, but you don't have to do this. I just kind of like the, the way it looks. Let me just get rid of this. Okay, and then you're just going to take the one side first and just start to peel it up. And just take your time and be careful because the tissue paper um, will rip. So you just want to kind of do this, like pull it up like this. As far as it will pull and not rip it, and then you go to the next layer. And just keep pulling it up away from the bottom. See how it's starting to look like a flower? If you're just patient with it.
Okay, and then you're going to do that to the other side and just pull it, uh, continue to pull it out. And you should have a flower like this that I did. Once you have it full like this, you can just, you know, pick at it and bring it out. And then what I did was I took my pipe cleaner and I kind of just stuck it in the hole on the inside of the heart, like, like this, you can see. Don't do it down by the smaller ones, of course, because it's gonna show. If you do it by the big ones up here, it will just stay. If you wanna put a little glue on, you know, you can posy it any way you want. If you wanted to make two, it would look pretty too, or even three all the way down. It's up to you. Um, and then with the leaves that I gave you, I did the same thing. I just took the ends of the stem and I saw where I wanted it to go and I just stuck them in just to give it a little greenery. And that's it, that's your Valentine's Day or love uh, wall print, whatever. You could put something here at the bottom, maybe a saying. Um, and um, I hope you enjoy it. And I hope whoever, if you do give it to someone, they enjoy it too. All right, everybody have a happy Valentine's Day and uh, stay safe. Stay warm and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.